reporter who likes to report on science and technology, uh -huh. especially helping young girls learn about. Space. You know what's really interesting is 99.999% of the people who are in this booth with you are girls. Love it. Gotta love it. <laughs> you go, girls. <laughs> you go. You're doing a great job here. Tell me your name. Beth Beck. And tell me about this booth. This looks really fascinating. Okay. Well, what we wanted to do is give people a chance to touch space and then send it on to other friends. So this is kind of a viral way that they can go be in space and then send it on to their mom, their friends, the mom sends it to all the friends, and then everybody gets to touch a little bit of space. So we don't have to work as hard, and we get to infect people with the excitement of space just because friends will infect friends. So it's a chance to let them pick different backgrounds. They can go to the moon, they can go to Mars, they can go to the space station, the shuttle, and a couple of other, oh, and they get the Hubble pictures. They get to the good old Ryan. Wow, that's my favorite constellation. Very fun. And so how long have you been working with NASA? 21 years. 21 years. Wow, what's your background? Um, my background is political science. I had two degrees in government. So my job is making the government real. That's what I really believe in. So I believe in making it accessible, giving the public face to NASA. So this way I get to go out and excite all the people that really don't see what the government does because we're very, very inaccessible. And we send people to space, but not everybody on Earth gets to touch it. And here they get a little bit of touching space. That's really cool because you're right. I mean, to think about going to space is not something that everybody gets to do. And I know when I was a little girl, I thought I wanted to be an astronaut. And um, I didn't end up doing that. But I was always fascinated and always watched all the launches and just really, you know, I actually love space food. The little um, freeze dried ice cream is quite delicious. It's not too late to be an astronaut. Oh, that's a good thing to know. The rocket scientists could actually go up in a rocket. That's right, you can. Stay tuned, because we're going to blast off in a second here. Go, let's go. So if you're the best in your field, which obviously you are, because you're here with us, then you can take that with you and be an astronaut. So being the best. That would be a ride of a lifetime, wouldn't it? A lot of kids want to stand out and they want to be different. Tell me a little bit about how they could do that with space. All right. My advice to any future astronaut is start something new, something no one's done. Start a club. Start a program, start something that's new, be the founder of something. Start a dance band, start a space dance group, or start a music, video, rock, space band. Or start something with art, do have a space art group where you come in and you inspire, you take pictures or music or something from space and you create something new. So it's something totally different. We, it doesn't have to be about rockets. Rockets are how you get there, but space should inspire us to do so many other things. So I just think, let yourself be free, open your mind, and do something different. And then that makes us take notice of it. That's a really good thought because a lot of times we think it's the destination that we're looking for. And we're really looking for the journey. And so what NASA and the whole space program really does is give us that opportunity for an amazing journey. Well, it's about going to the next frontier. And there's a frontier in knowledge, so it's about going to that next frontier, whatever it is. And we just happen to do space, but there's so many other frontiers. And so hopefully we inspire others to go the next step.